that's it's uh, definitely been an issue for many of the players and their caddies. So for those who have uh, respiratory allergies or asthma, they're prone to asthma, uh, it's already a tough allergy time and now with the smoke in the air, it's been a, a difficult respiratory environment for them. Unfortunately, they're in, frequently in less uh, good health uh, compared to the athletes and their caddies. So they're gonna be more susceptible to the problem. I've been telling the, uh, the volunteers and the players and their caddies uh, to load up on their allergy medications and their asthma medications before they come to the course to make sure that it's in their system uh, uh, before they get exposed to these things. Yeah. And then the other thing is to, uh, as soon as they're, they're off the course, and this would go for fans as well, um, there's a trick that we do that, that really helps. Um, I have a tissue here, but make, uh, make believe this is a, a washcloth, and you put it in warm water, wring it out, and then hold it over your nose and mouth. And now we're gonna do what's called retronasal steam. So we suck in through our mouth, blow out through the nose for about a minute. And this draws the steam into the nose from the back. It goes through all the nooks and crannies of the nose. And then after a minute, you put the, wa the warm washcloth away, blow your nose, and your nose will be very clear and uh, you won't keep getting exposed to the pollens and the dust and the smoke.